Hello everyone. Figured I'm gonna do a few days on heart magnets because I really I have an issue when it comes to painting hearts because I have a hard time figuring how I want to fill it up. So I figured I would do a few days, just do one magnet a day, and give you guys some options of ways to fill up the heart magnet. Now this is a 1.7 inch heart. It's wood. So I use the multi-surface um, sealer and with my black paint. And this is just Apple Barrel gloss indoor outdoor paint that I pre-painted. And um, I'm gonna use these colors today. I'll put them in the description. And let's go from there. I'm gonna start with white. And I'm not going to lay numbers down because I want to be zoomed in so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So, this is a number 9. And I'm going to do just one dot right at the utmost where that peak goes in. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a mandala pattern around it and just ignore that it's being cut off on this side, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to go to the number two and I'm still using white. And I'm going to do my dots around it. So normally I would do the four, but I can't do that side because it's not there. Okay, now I'm going to do another row. Now I'm going to move up to the number three. I'm still going to use the white. I'm going to do another row just out from that. Now I'm going to go up to the number four and do one more row. And these are fun because they're just quick, simple little patterns. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the yellow color. And this is Bright Yellow by Deco Art Americana. And I'm going to go up to the number five and do another row. really don't like when the paint is transparent. This one's a little bit transparent. But we'll just go with it. Going up to the number 9. And I'm going to do yellow still. times I'll end up coming in and top dotting if the paint's transparent. Oh. 
just dab the same color right over the top. And now I'm going to move on to this orange flame color. And I'm going to go down in size. I'm going to go to the number four. And I'm going to put a dot in between these. Now those are too close together. I hate when that happens. Somehow I got off a little bit. When it comes to the edge, I like to hit it anyways, but that was wrong. Now I'm going to go bigger yet. Let's go. Oh, I skipped one. Okay. Let's go up to the number eight. And I'm going to use the orange. And I'm going to go out from the dots. And do a big one. Like that. And now I'm going to go down to the number two and I'm going to walk some dots. I'm going to use white. feel like I need another color in this. Let's put a white dot in between these. I'm going to go with the number three. Put it just out from these yellow dots. Like so. I'm going to do another row of orange, this time with the number five, and I'm going to go out from those white dots. Basically, I'm just working my way down this, trying to fill in the space. Now, they're a little tight over here, so I'm not going to do them there. Now I'm going to go to this number 9 and I'm going to do a big yellow dot right underneath there. Now I'm going to pull them in on the sides because there's not room for them the other way. So I'm just going to pull them in over to the side there. And then I'm going to use the white and the number six. And I'm just going to put a dot over here on both sides to fill in that space. 
and then I'm going to put a white dot under this. Now I'm going to go to the number three and I'm going to drag some lines down, well not drag lines, but dots just to the bottom like so. And then I'm going to go to the number four and I'm going to put a dot coming in on each one of these. And then I'm going to go back to the number three and I'm going to walk dots to meet the bottom of this one. However many it takes. Now, I'm going to go to the number two and use them white. I'm going to just circle around this a little bit to bring it in. I don't know why, I just thought that would look nice. And I'm going to go with another orange dot. Let's go down to a number oh, 05. I'm going to put one here and one on the other side. And then I'm going to go up in size, probably to the 7. Let's see. Yep, to the 7 with another orange dot. And fill it in over here and that's our basic pattern I'm gonna go with a number three and dot these white number four with white Number four with orange. Number three with white. Number two with white. Number one with orange up here. And there we go for today. One cute little heart magnet. Now I use that E6000 and I just glue it on the back. It's a clear adhesive. And then I, oh, well, first I would spray this with a matte varnish and then I would glue the magnet on the back. So that's it for today. More tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.